Hey guys, this is a video from my differential equations with linear algebra series. In this video, I'm going to work through a web work mixture problem pertaining to concentration in a tank. I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. Without further ado, let's get to it. The question states, a tank contains 80 kilograms of salt and 2,000 liters of water. Pure water enters a tank at the rate of 12 liters per minute. The solution is mixed and drains from the tank at the rate uh, 6 liters per minute. So we're going to answer a few questions based on this information. The first question is kind of a freebie. It says what is the amount of salt in the tank initially? So if, if you just refer to the information given to us, we know that the tank contains 80 kilograms of salt and 2,000 liters of water. So this is 80 kilograms of salt initially and 80 kilograms is just the answer. So that one was kind of a freebie. Now this next question, question B, actually requires some calculation. It tells us find the amount of salt in the tank after 1.5 hours and the amount is going to be in kilograms. Before we go on to solve the problem, I wanted to define a few terms that I'm going to end up using. So R sub I, we'll call that the rate in, which is constant and we know that's 12 liters per uh, minute, which is given in the problem. And then concentration in is also held constant, but it's zero because we know that the solution that's coming into the tank is actually just pure water, meaning that there is no salt, so the concentration is zero. The rate out we know is six liters per minute from the information that was given to us. And the concentration out is not given to us, but we know that the concentration out always has to be changing. Why? Because the salt is leaving uh, with the solution that's uh, leaving the tank but new, more salt is not coming in and replenishing uh, what, how much salt has left. So we'll always be changing the concentration that's going out. And A of T will just say is the amount of salt. So the change in the amount of salt can be given by delta A of T is equal to amount of salt in minus amount of salt that's gone out and we can further say that delta A of T is equal to uh, the amount of salt in would be the rate in times delta T which would give us how much solution has come in and then multiply that by the concentration in and that would give us how much salt has come in so rate in times delta T times concentration in minus rate out times delta T times concentration out. This is the amount of salt that has come in minus the amount of salt that's gone out. So let's factor out a delta T from here. We'll just say that this is delta T right here and then R sub I C sub I minus R sub O C sub O equals delta A of T. Now we're going to divide both sides by delta T to get delta A over delta T is equal to R sub I C sub I minus R sub O C sub O. Delta A over delta T is the amount of salt change for a uh, amount of salt uh, that's changing for a period of time. So we can just call this dA over dT or A prime is equal to and R sub I we know is 12 but C sub I is 0 so this term will go away and we'll just be left with negative. Uh, our R sub O, the rate out, is 6 liters per minute, so R sub O is 6, and C sub O, we don't know yet, uh, but we can say that C sub O is the amount of 
we'll just make a note on the side right here. So C sub O is equal to the amount of salt that's in the tank at that given time divided by the volume of the solution at that given time. From the given problem, we know that uh, there is 2,000 liters of water in the tank initially and the rate in minus the rate out times time will give us the total volume. And that's just going to be C O or the concentration out is equal to A of T over 2000 plus 6 T. So we'll just write that here A of T over 2000 plus 6 T. Now I'm going to rewrite this on another page. So we have so far dA over dt is equal to negative 6 over 2000 plus 6t times a of t. And if you notice that this is just a linear differential equation. So we can rewrite this in this way dA over dt plus 6 over 2000 plus 6t times a of t is equal to 0. And this is, a, this is perfect because the coefficient on the dA over dt is 1. The coefficient on the a term is a pure function of t. And the, co, uh, and the other side is a pure function of t. In this case, um, it's a constant, just uh, 0. So now we need to find the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is just e to the integral of the coefficient on the a term. So that's e to the integral of 6 over 2000 plus 6t. And if we use u substitution here, that will make this a lot easier. So we'll say that u is equal to 2000 plus 6t. Then du is equal to 6 dt. The du takes care of the top, 6 dt, and the u takes care of the bottom. So we can rewrite this as e to the integral of 1 over u or du over u. And then this just becomes e to the, uh, this just becomes e to the natural log of u. The e and the natural log cancel each other out and then we'll just be left with u and u is just equal to 2000 plus 6t so we'll be multiplying this entire equation by 2000 plus 6t so 2000 plus 6t times dA over dt plus 6 over 2000 plus 6t times a of t is equal to 0. If we distribute this out and then undo the product rule, then we can rewrite this as dA over dt, this integrating factor, 2000 plus 6t times this uh, a term, so a of t, is equal to 0 times this doesn't make a difference, it's still 0. And now if we integrate both sides, the dA dt and this integral just cancel out, and then this is just becomes a constant. So we can say this is 2000 plus 6t times a of t is equal to some constant. Now we don't know the value of c. But in the problem, we know that initially there is 80 grams, 80 kilograms of salt in the tank. That means when t equals 0, a of t or a of 0 is 80. So we can use that information to figure out what c is. So 80 equals c over 2000 plus 6 times 0 this just goes away and then if we solve for C, C comes out to 
thousand. Now we can rewrite the final expression. A of t is, is equal to 160,000 over 2,000 plus 6t. Now, we need to find, as the question tells us, we need to find the amount of salt at 1.5 hours. Be careful here because the rates were given in liters per minute. So this time has to be in minutes also. So we're going to convert the 1.5 hours into minutes. So 1.5 hours is just 90 minutes. So A of 90 is equal to 160,000 over 2,000 plus 6 times 90 and that comes out to about 62.992 kilograms. This is the last question we have to answer for this problem. So the question is, uh, find the concentration of salt in the solution in the tank as time approaches infinity. Assume your tank is large enough to hold all the solution. So this one doesn't also require any math because it's just thinking about it conceptually. So we know that only pure water is coming into the tank. and as so solution is leaving the tank, salt is leaving with, uh, with that solution. But no new salt is coming into the tank to replenish that. So as time goes by, there's less and less salt in the tank. And as time approaches infinity, the concentration will get lower. Because as you're more adding more water and taking salt out, you're just diluting the uh, concentration eventually the concentration of salt will just be zero if time was to go to infinity so the answer is zero I hope this video was helpful as always feel free to leave any questions in the comment section and I'll try my best to help check out other videos on my channel especially the differential equations with linear algebra series and the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series follow my channel on Facebook and until next time take care guys